So a lot of people have been asking for this and I kind of tried to keep quiet on it, but I feel like my hand's kind of being forced now. So let's talk about angled legs. So this question came in from a guy named Logan. He contacted me on Instagram and said that he was having trouble with some angled legs on a design that he was working on. Um, pretty much he said he tried drawing them a bunch of times and he couldn't tell what was wrong with it, but for whatever reason, it just didn't feel right. It didn't, it didn't seem like it blended with the rest of the project or just didn't feel cohesive. So he started off by asking me what angle for legs I use. So I figured I'd try to give him a hand and let's just jump into it. So. The original drawing that he sent me, I guess he's working on a record player cabinet, and it was a little busy, so I didn't want to use that for the drawings. So instead, I took his same proportions and um, just turned it into more of like a simple modern kind of box. But I used the exact base that he gave in his drawing. I, I recreated the exact base that he had sent me. So looking at it, there's not a whole lot wrong. Actually, there's nothing wrong with the angle. I think I measured his drawing, and it looked like he was using about 20 degrees for angles. I don't have any like fixed angles that I use, kind of just whatever works for the project. What I tend to do when I'm designing is go in increments of five degrees and use that as kind of my starting point to, to figure out a, a roughly where I want to be and then fine tune it from there. Um, I often end up going with like 15 degrees, 30 degrees. Those are ones that I've used over and over. And then the only time that I use weird things like, you know, eight, 0.7 degrees, something like that, is when it's usually for a bigger piece and the angle kind of needs to fit, like, you know, maybe it needs to come out a certain length. It, usually there's pre-existing dimensions and now I'm drawing an angle to kind of meet those dimensions. Um, if it's something like a base like this, like I said, I just go in five degree increments and that is, you know, I don't think anybody's going to be so nitpicky where six degrees looks great, five degrees looks terrible. But anyways, let's uh, kind of go into his drawing and, and see if we can help him out a little bit. So the first thing, like I was saying before, is the angle of the legs is fine. There's nothing wrong with what he has in his drawing here. And where the actual problem is, is blending in with the kind of stretcher piece um, for two reasons. So first of all, the fact that the angle, the 20 degree angle doesn't carry on. You can see it's like 20 degree angle and then it just juts up to 90 degrees or you know vertical where the stretcher is so you want to carry that angle in to the stretcher the outside of the stretcher part which is very easy just basically make a little you know you can just lop off that little angle on your miter saw or using a miter gauge on your table saw and, and match that and the other thing is that I think that his stretcher is actually a little bit too thin I think that it isn't balanced with the thickness of the legs so if we go over to the second drawing here you can see that what I've done is carry his same idea up and just thicken the brace to match it and it depends on how you're going to join it so right now I have it so that my vertical pieces go all the way to the top and then the stretcher part is kind of sticking into the side of them you could do it the opposite where the stretcher piece is visibly sitting on top of it so it kind of depends what type of joinery joinery you want to use if there's the option to, I think it looks better this way with the vertical piece going all the way to the bottom of the cabinet and then having the stretcher hit it on the sides. But it's not going to make a huge difference either way. But the main difference here is just kind of balancing the overall look. Um, if we take it a little bit further, I think that the proportions were a little bit off, at least in my mind. Um, so I don't know if you have a set height that you want the top of it to be. If that was the case, I would make the box portion bigger, but I just feel like the box to base ratio in the second drawing was a little bit off. So in this third drawing, what I did was I just lowered the whole unit. So the box is exactly the same. And I just lowered the base part of it about, I don't remember, maybe three inches or something like that. But I think that these overall proportions feel a little bit more balanced. Um, and again, nothing's changed angle wise or thickness here. So I think this already gets you a lot further ahead in finding uh, a base that matches or, or hopefully is closer to what you were trying to go for. Um, the other thing that you guys see me do a lot, and you don't need to do this, but if you wanted to, and that's just putting a taper on the legs as well. So in this last drawing, all I'm doing is just adding a taper to the inside of the leg. So basically measuring about halfway of the thickness on the bottom of the leg and then continuing that up to the original thickness at the top of the leg. So, you know, maybe it goes from an inch to two inches. I can't remember what it was in the original drawing. I always like the way that that looks better 
over the previous version. I just feel like the previous version is a little chunky. Um, but, you know, maybe this is your first time doing it and you're more comfortable doing it the way the third drawing is. So that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, you'll still learn a lot of techniques and, and I think you're going to have a good looking base if you go for this. But if you are up for the challenge, um, this does present a few more problems because now you have that inside angle that's going to be some weird, you know, probably 23.29 degrees or uh, who knows what it'll be something weird um, I could actually measure it here since I'm in I'm in SketchUp right now why don't I just measure it so it is 29.3 degrees I is that what I just said I pulled that measurement out of my butt and I think that ended up being right maybe well go back and check the tape maybe I said something else but 23.29 degrees or uh, who knows what it'll be no I said 23 well whatever who cares those numbers were in there, so that's something right there. Anyway, yeah, so it'll be a little bit more complex. But anyway, Logan, hopefully this helps you out and helps out the rest of you too if you're drawing some bases and you're wondering about angles or you have any questions. So hopefully that helped you guys out. I'll catch you next time. See ya. Bye.